Welcome back to From My Living Room to Yours. Today I plan on getting what I call really real with you. I'm sure most of you are astounded by the events happening around us these past few weeks. The murder of George Floyd seems to have helped our society reach a tipping point where we will take this no more. Or at least that's where I hope we are. Some of you heard me address some of the social injustices in Sunday's sermon, but I've been hesitant to share more. Partly, I don't want to say anything that would create more divisiveness, and partly, I have the sense that I don't know what I should say. But yesterday, I was part of a call with other faith leaders in San Diego, and one of my black siblings in Christ just sort of woke me up with what he was saying. As usual, the white leaders on the call were trying to be very polite and say, you know, we don't know what to do or say. But Bishop Terrell Fletcher just threw it right back at us. He said, we've been telling our stories and trying to teach white people for hundreds of years. You know what to do. The question is, are you willing to finally do it? I suddenly realized that by not saying anything, I'm being complicit to the problem. So here I am today to say it out loud. We are Christians and we know our systems are broken. We know our siblings of color suffer in ways that white people never even have to worry about. If this was about how to change a school system to get better education for our kids, we'd join a group to overcome the hurdles. If this was about fighting back to have our tax system benefit us more, we demand reform. Another leader said that as clergy, we need to point people back to Christ. And I hope I do a pretty good job of that. But what I'm highly aware of today is that when we point people to Christ, if all we see is Jesus's loving embrace, then we're missing the point. Because if we look closely, when we turn to Christ, we'll notice that we are being pointed right back to the rest of humanity. We all know this. Jesus said to care for the vulnerable, care for the oppressed, do that which is life-giving. Yes, all lives matter, but that does not mean in any way that white lives matter more. I also worry how to say this in a way that doesn't negate that the lives of American Indians are being silently obliterated and that the lives of Latinos are at risk, just to name a few groups. And yet, the current events, when the lives of Black people continue to be devalued, ignored, and extinguished, these times demand that we stand alongside our Black brothers and sisters and demand, proclaim, Black lives matter. I don't have all the answers. Maybe I only have a couple. But how can we call ourselves Christians if we don't actively try to root racism out of our own lives? So this Sunday, I hope you'll join me on our Zoom coffee hour to talk about what we do know how to do, what we'd like to learn how to do, and what we don't yet even know how to do. Then starting sad Sunday, June 21st, I hope you'll join me in a 10-week series called Sacred Ground, which will help us become aware of and further dismantle the racism in our own lives. This is the life-giving work we're called to do as followers of Christ. I hope you'll join me. Until next time, go with God, go with great courage.